Hi everyone, this is Sharon with Learning the Liar Harp Group, and today I'm going to be doing a fast track recording of um, how to read the bass clef. Originally, I wasn't going to be doing one because on the lyres, we usually normally just need the four bottom notes from the middle C, but I did get a request to do one, so I said, why not? So here we go, and let me just share my screen very quickly with you. And what we see on the screen right now is a picture of the, the bass clef. Um, just like the treble clef, we have five lines, one, two, three, four, five, and four spaces, one, two, three, four. And we now get a new musical symbol right here, which denotes the bass clef. These are the names of the spaces. A, C, E, G. I really remember it just by saying ace, G. That's it, that's as simple as it is for me. Um, but some people uh, teaches it using um, sentences like all cows eat grass, just like in the travel club, we use, we make a sentence using uh, the first letter um, as the starting beginning word. So all cows eat grass is a very common one taught just by about every teacher I know teaching beginner musicians. So the names of the lines is G, B, D, F, A. And again, we can make up um, our own sentence or use this one, good boys don't fight always. And another very popular one is good boys deserve fudge always. What you're seeing right now is the F line with an F note right, right on it. Now, the, the treble clef is also, sorry, the bass clef is also actually called the F clef, just like the treble clef is called the G clef because of the musical symbol here, it is hugging or covering the um, F line. See these two dots here? And that's a great identifier of what the, what the note is and what this line represents. Any notes that goes on this line, whether it's a whole note, half note, 16th note, eighth note, will always be an F because it falls on the F line. Now we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna look at where all of our Cs are. Up above here is your middle C. I, the, we, use, we usually use that also for the treble clef. So the bass clef and the treble clef shares this note right here. And then you have your low C right here and then your lower C over down below here. Now you notice that I said lower C and not the lowest C because there is also another octave um, that, that falls right below this lower C, which we're not gonna cover here because on the liars, we'll never use it. So <laughs> there's no point of covering that here. Again, the names of the space is now represented in notes. A, C, E, G, your popular sentence, all cows eat grass to remember it. Again, as you can see right here, you, are, you already know half of the notes that you need to play your lyre, actually a lot more because as I said, we really just need the um, four bottom notes, especially for diatonic lyre. So already you're recognizing half of the notes that you need. Let's keep going. Now added the notes of the spaces, sorry, of the lines. So G, B, D, F, A, and again, good boys don't fight always, or good boys deserve fudge always, whichever one you wanna use, or if you wanna make your own, please go for it. The more memorable you make it for yourself, the better you'll remember it. So you feel free to make up your own. That is totally acceptable. Now here are all, the notes in the in the bass clef that we're also we're also going to need. Now you can know you can, will notice that the musical alphabet starts in C, just like in the treble clef. So we go C D E F G A B, and then we start all over again. There's only seven notes: C D E F G A B, and then now we're in the middle C and it starts all over again and goes up to the treble clef. So really knowing the musical alphabet, just like knowing the regular alphabet, you would know the names, the names of the notes before or after um, the note that you recognize because the orientation is always the same. It always goes from left to right. So it, you know, um, the, um, the reading alphabet is always A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 
you don't mess them up. That's the order that they're in. And it's the same way with the, um, the musical notes. It goes C, D, E, F, G, A, B. You don't mess that up. So that's, you know, when you're reading it uh, and saying the alphabet, um, that's the way you say it. You can, you can mix, mix them up later when you are making the notes, but when you're trying to decode what note is on the, on the um, sheet of music, you can look at a note that you already know. For example, the F is the, the very basic one and one that we recognize the most. We know that what's before an F is always going to be an E and what follows an F is always going to be a G. What follows a G is always going to be an A. So now because you have A, it's very easy to say A, B, C, D, E because that's always in our head because we know how to read the alphabet. So I'm just gonna stop sharing my screen. I hope that was um, clear enough and I hope that you enjoyed that quick tutorial. If you have any questions, please do um, email me or you know comment down below. I, I love hearing from everyone. Um, if you are looking for a group, a place that you know that's very encouraging and um, very supportive, we do have a Facebook group. The link will also down below. And if you are looking for more resources, we have a site um, that's available to everyone. It's learning the liar harp. Um, dot com. It's very easy. Again, the link is down below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to, um, can, to hear back from you and to learn with you. Happy playing! <laughs>